Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan and I am the Sonic Let's Player and welcome to Resident Evil Village. This is my very first recording in my new apartment. Um, if you actually watched my last video, you will realize that I was absent because I had to move. Fine. Anyway, new game. Which is standard. Yeah, I had to move. I'm in a new apartment unfamiliar territory to me and a brand new game so let's see how this all works shall we hopefully my uh, computer can actually handle this game because my main computer is still down long ago a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work but the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. She's asleep. That was awesome. That is with the creepy story. She's only six months old. The woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry, but I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. We'll finish dinner. Okay. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember. I can't blame her. That was an interesting story. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Okay. A S D A. Okay, that was X. Sweet. That's good to know. Okay, quick turn. Make the child in my arms freaking dizzy. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together. All right.
Okay, the layout of this house is eerily similar to another game. I have to go upstairs, don't I? Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Okay. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. As a father myself, I know what a crying child needs. This is a nice bathroom. I'm assuming shift is to run as soon as I get rid of the child in my arms. I just have to figure out where the baby's bedroom is. Almost there, honey. Okay. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Yeah, only the real, very scary biohazard monsters can get her. If they can. Yeah, I had another fight. I think I'm making it happen. Do you know if you grew up at me? We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rosa properly. I still feel like part of me is crap in that hellhole in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything that kind of happened? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We all heard that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Okay. You could stay like this forever. Yep. But the very real hell is gonna break loose now. Why am I running? Hello, wife. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chuba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just... Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, the military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. Okay. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! Okay. Mia, 
Oh God. Chris, what the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Yeah, what the hell? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Well, that's just all kinds of fucked up, isn't it? Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to document them. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. I hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, matter. what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Okay, so that happened. And I'm guessing this game is going to be me trying to get my daughter back from the evil Chris Pitfield. <laughs> Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You want to cop off her? Fuck. What the hell happened to you? All right. Okay, mix of objectives, eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary, Winters, and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters series. That's a weird spelling, but to Site C for further investigation, at least two transport officers to accompany them. Refuse this. Uh, how do I do this again? That's not crouch. Wait, that's crouch. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Going this way. For some undetermined reason. I'm just following the path here.
whatever the hell that was. Thing here. Oh, that's you can record. Okay. Nice recording. Okay. Well, that was fun. Cutting myself in barbed wire. You know. Fun time. Fun time. Now I appear that I'm being hunted. <laughs> that one was still alive. Follow the guy. <sighs> okay. What's behind door number one? Nothing. Nothing. More pills. Here we go. Into the depths of hell. Full of blood on it, yay. Okay. What's it all this? So, probably the guy I followed. Guys, that How happened. Am I? You're in the village, I think.
Maybe, maybe they're out? No, they're dead. An easy to pick lock. This is a village, all right. As of right now, I still have nothing to defend myself. Do not enter there. Okay, got it. That again. Where in the hell am I going? What happened? Uh, well, you know, two guys got into it, you know, they were drinking a little too much at the pub, and, you know, just one thing after led to another, and boom, they're gone. It's locked. Well, of course it is. They just run out of the house? Oh. <coughs> Probably. No, no, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... Shh. What's going Shh. on? I... Okay. I think my audio is out of sync oh, no. now. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Tell me what's out there. Hey, are you listening? Hey! What the? Ah! 
Okay, he's gone. All right. Wait, there's more. Okay. Examine. Jesus Christ. Oh, now everything's back in sync again. What the hell is wrong with this place? Now I have myself a gun. And I have myself a knife. And I have a dead werewolf vampire thing there. Good time. Herb. Sweet. Camp fluid. Okay. Hey, I'm traveling. Alright, progress.
crystal skull. Is it over? I doubt it. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Okay. So let's check and let's see around here. It's locked on the other side. Okay. There's no end to them.
Oh, what the hell? like your life depends on it. Which it does. What the hell is going on? Wait, so I just wasted all that ammo? And that came fluid. That is a really good winning ring if it's staying on with over half a thing or missing. Wait. That was a quick dressing too. Ah, who do you be? Alright. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? It's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yeah. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle is 
Castle Bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Right. Here? So here I am without ammo. I have a knife. Ah. Ritualistic police base. Can't do it. There it is. Oh, great lichens, the fabled monster of wolves of old. May they come to our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Okay. Oh, well, that's a thing that's happening. We're with bastards. Do I have anything? I have two useless guns and a knife. Okay. So far, so good. Let's check around the house. Nothing over there. Or I could just be wasting all my time. Yep, I'm wasting all my time. Anyway. There's a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Ceremony site. I have to go towards the church to do that. the other side of the wagon. We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall feel the Mother Miranda's wrath. <coughs> Whoopsie! I'll probably regret that later. Okay. Oh, great. Would it be a Resident Evil game without an overly complicated puzzle? Herb. Okay. I can't take herbs. Great. Yeah. <sighs> ah, yeah. The elixir of the gods. Should disaster befall upon the village, seek out the crest. One is in the chair of the church, the other is in the Ah, I have to go to the guy's house anyway. Or the girl. Finally, a save point. Alright, so that'll be it for this episode. Um, so far it's pretty good. Um, I'll try to conserve ammo more because I'm out of both handgun ammo and shotgun ammo somehow but anyway thank you all for watching if you like that video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and 
Kiko out. <laughs> anyway, have a nice day, and I'll see you all in another time. Bye. We missed it, baby, because we planned.